in that was exam. I'm going to do a detailed uh, ruling. I had expected and anticipated that the parties would address me on apprehension, what amounts to apprehension or fear that intimidation will happen even if it has not happened. But uh, that was left out. So I will look up the law and do a detailed ruling. We deliver it on uh, 1st of September, that is on Thursday. I would have delivered the ruling tomorrow, but tomorrow I have been this, a slightly civil uh, a commitment. So I'm going to be able to do, prepare the ruling after the hearing is today to deliver it, but I'll endeavor to ensure it's ready. So on 1st of September, we deliver the ruling at the exact day 9.30 a.m. Your Honor, the opposition is made purely and solely in the best interest of the child. Who is voiceless and who looks to the state for protection? Your Honor, we humbly submit that this interdiction is not conclusive proof that the teachers cannot reach out to the minors. Be that as it may, Your Honor, if the court is inclined to grant this bond terms, we pray that the same be granted under very strict conditions. That the teachers should not try to contact the students, the witnesses, or to interfere with their parents or guardians as it is apparent from the letter of Duncan Ochido, either by themselves or through their agents. That is all. That has some basic ingredients of an affidavit, which include that the person deponing must be a person of sound mind and above the age of 18 years old, It must be prepared by a commissioner for oaths or persons allowed to prepare them under section 34 of the Advocates Act, Cap 16 Laws of Kenya. And most importantly, the deponent must execute the affidavit in the presence of the commissioner of oaths. 